Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to episode 18 of Mr. Clean's Adventure Travel Podcast. And today we're going to talk about why you should always have cold, hard cash on every day of your trip. So as you can see, a lot of my episodes mention money and how to get it and manage it throughout your trip. Uh, today's lesson is about why you always need to have hard cash and local currency every day of your trip. And first and foremost, the reason is a lot of places in this world are still cash-based societies, meaning that they may take credit cards and debit cards, they may not. Um, their electricity and Wi-Fi may be good or may not. So if it goes out, guess what? They can only take cash because their credit card systems may not be working properly. So you always want to make sure that you have cash available in small bills, one, fives, and tens to pay restaurants and do things as, as you're going throughout your day. So how much cash you should have on you on a particular day, it depends. But I just wanted to run down a gamut of the things that you should have in your wallet. Uh, so one, you should have your ID, use a US license or copy, paper copy of your passport. Then you should have two uh, credit cards that have no foreign exchange fees. Because just in case one doesn't work, you can have the other one. Or if you lose one, you have one. Second, you want to have a debit card that works at any ATM in the world. And I talked about the Charles Schwab debit card that I have to maybe make sure that you can always get cash if needed. And then third, from my experience, between 20 bucks and 100 bucks in that local currency, you should have in your wallet. And I say that because if you're doing a full day, 12 hour excursion where the lunch, food, breakfast, everything is included, then all you need is this cash for tip. And if they pick you up and drop you off at your hotel, then there's no other reason to have cash. But let's say you're doing a walking tour and you want to walk around the area after that time and find something to eat, then you may want to have more money just in case you want to grab some food or uh, buy some uh, trinkets and things for your family and friends at home. So that's it for episode 18 of why you should always have cold, hard cash on you while you're traveling every day. Uh, feel free to consider to follow me at I am underscore Mr. Clean on IG, as well as my YouTube channel, Mr. Clean's Adventures Travel Podcast. Have a good one. Bye.